Hey there, this is Brian from Growlworks. I'm here to show you how to use the UKEG 128 to carbonate your homebrew. But step one, grab a beer you've brewed in the past and let's prime the pump. So I've brewed up some beer. I've got a winter ale that's been in secondary here for a couple weeks. I'm about ready to drink it. Normally I'd have to put it into a bucket, prime it, bottle it, and I'm going to do that, but I don't want to wait two to three weeks. So I'm going to use the UK gear to be able to drink it in just two to three days. Take all your equipment, sterilize it, Got the transfer tubes in the bucket sterilizing. Make sure you sterilize the UK too. That's going to involve using a sanitizer like IOTA 4, which is a no rinse sanitizer. So, why don't we get the cap charged first? I've pre charged it. There's a 16 gram food grade CO2 in the sleeve that's been tightened on. You can always turn it on, do your little puff, make sure it's working. But you want to make sure these internals are also sterilized. So, dip, turn that onto the UK, give it a shake, make sure you've rinsed everything through. You can turn it on and make sure the internals are all full of sterilization solution and let it sit for five minutes. Grab your beer again. Because this is going to take a little bit of concentration. We want to make sure we do this right. We're going to get our equipment. It's all sterilized. We're going to set it up inside the carboy. So I'm starting the transfer now. And into this bucket, I'm going to be placing my priming sugar. The common question is where should I ever prime in the UK? And the reason why you don't want to do that is the true from the the fermentation will clog up the internals of your keg. You don't want that getting into the parts down here, and it's just generally going to be very hard to clean it out. Okay, the next thing to do is pressurize and get ready to carbonate. You're going to take your cap and you're going to put it in to your keg. So drop it down, tighten it. Now I want to close off my tap, and the important thing to do now is purge out any oxygen that might have gotten in there. You can do that by turning it on slightly. You'll hear it, it goes up just a little bit, and then open it again. Do that a couple times. And now it should all be CO2 inside. Now you can pressurize all the way up. All right, now that we got the pressure up to 15 PSI, it's time to start carbonating. What you're gonna do is get this into your refrigerator, and then every so often, I want you to agitate it. That means something like that. No crazy shaking, that's not good for the cap. You get some beer up in there, so just give it a good shake like that every so often. And in two to three days, you should have beer that's ready to go. I'm gonna go get this in the fridge. Okay, we're back. Grab the homebrew out of the fridge. It's been three days. Should be nice and carbonated. In fact, I've already checked, so I know it is. And what I did when I first checked it was pour myself a beer, and I'm gonna show what happened on this one. So I went ahead and I unlocked my tap poured my beer and I found that my pressure went down right away. It was at 15 PSI where I had set it and it went down to zero. Now that's not a problem. That's, that means that your CO2 went into the beer. What you gotta do is turn off your pressure, unscrew your cap, and then before you start unscrewing that, you might wonder is there any CO2 in there? It's always okay to give it a little turn. Turn the knob a little bit and listen for CO2. I don't hear any, it means it's really empty. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it all the way. Take my CO2 out, get a new one, and go quickly up to the top, give it a quick twist, and reinstall it on my UKEG, turn it up now. Now not to 15 PSI, because we're beer's carbonated, we don't need to be going crazy on pressure. We're gonna go to a nice pouring level, I, I tend to go to seven PSI. And that's what I've done on this one. This is the one that we were really carbonating with. It's nice and set up to seven PSI. I'm gonna come around here and pour one for you guys to see. This is the homebrew that we were working on, and it is carbonated. Go ahead and give it a good pour. And I'm liking what it looks like. Definitely fully carbonated and ready to drink. Finish that guy off. Lock my tap. Get the last few drips out. Give it a taste. Cheers. That's some good umbrella.